welcome to my channel, Fred Makes Things, in a special Sewers Club bonus style video for you. I do not think that this is going to be like a bonus through the week. Um, I believe it's going to be like attacked on to the end of April because we have an extra week uh, of Wednesdays in April that I have nothing planned for. So you're going to get this then. Um, if you hear squeaking and you're new to the channel, that is Susie, my cat. Um, as of filming this, I've officially had her for an entire year. First as a foster, then we adopted her in November. So she is celebrating a year with us. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, you're not here to hear me talk about my cat. So, um, what are we doing today? We are doing two things. We are doing a Sewers Club mystery box unboxing. And then we're looking at a bit of a fabric haul that I did. I know what these are, but I'm still going to share them with you. And then this guy is brand new. So we'll do this video in two parts. Part one will be the mystery box. Part two will be the fabric haul. As you saw uh, in the opening, I unboxed everything for you, but I have not looked inside. So, what is a Sewers Club mystery box, you ask? Um, Sewers Club has done this twice. Um, the first time I didn't get there fast enough, uh, the second time I did. Basically what they announced on Instagram is that they have like, mystery boxes available and it's up it's three and a half meters of fabric um but in various cuts anywhere from four inches to um i don't remember if i can find the listing i'll post like what the different um widths are of like scrap or leftover fabric or something that they have it's like a mystery box a mystery bundle The bundle was, I think, $11 American, um, but it was $9 shipping. So I decided if I'm going to order something, I might as well order fabric to go along with it. So anyway, I have no idea what's in this box. Let's take a look together. Um, quickly, if you don't know what Silver's Club is, normally Silver's Club is a monthly subscription box where you get everything you need to make one sewing project. The fabric, the pattern, um, any other like buttons or snaps or fleece or anything like that that you need to complete the project it all comes in a box and it comes in this box um, and they've started branching out a little bit so I think that's what this mystery box is so um yeah let's take a look see what we have inside I'm very excited Ooh, I recognize some of this fabric already. We can play where does this fabric come from too. All right, so we've got the pumpkins. This comes from um, their October 2021 box. It was place mats or a tote. That's really cool. It's called, I want I think I call it dancing pumpkins. They call it, I don't have it. But that's cute. That's just like a little scrap. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I made a project last year, revisiting the project from the year before, and I ordered this exact fabric. So I have this in my stash already, but I'm really, really happy to just have a little extra bit of scrap. That is so cool. And um, I'll explain why in a little bit, but that is so cool. This is unknown to me, little navy paw print, navy fabric with little pink paw prints. That's a nice size too. Um, as I'm looking, I will, uh, after I'm done this, I will measure everything and pop up how much of each I got. So this I don't know. Best friend... Limoni. Oh, I wonder if this is from, it is, this is from January's, um, not January, February's project box. Um, that's cool. 
Um, I know where these come from. That'll be in a minute. I know where all of this comes from. I recognize all of this fabric. This is so cool. So all of this uh, comes from um, I want to say September 2021's project box. This is October 2021. I think this is September or August of tw August of 2021 because September was the pillows. Um, it was baskets. So this comes from that box. I love this fabric. I love the vintagey feeling of it. Right. This is exactly the same. I think it's the same size cut too. And then we have two cuts of this. Oh, I wonder if I have enough to make those baskets again. Um, and then I use the leftovers of this in my um, January of 2022 um, Bowl Cozy project. So another cut. Yeah, see, these seem like they're the right sized cuts for that. This is a decent size cut, too. That's so cool. And then this rust fabric. I was the least excited for this rust fabric, but it's grown on me. Um, same project box. Um, this this is looks like it's my least, yeah. This is my least favorite fabric in this box. Oh, but it's got the purple in it, and mine doesn't have the purple in it. So this just happened to be hanging out next to me. So this is from February of 2022, right? We just discussed this again in a remake uh, a couple months ago. So uh, this is from that box, but this is like the purple version. I like the purple version more. So this is from February 2022. Um, these are from the worst project that Sewers Club has ever sent to me. I loved the fabric of that, but I hated it. That's the uh, July 2021 um, project box. And that was um, a distressed um, little handbag thing. These are some of the coordinating fabrics that they could have sent with it. Um, as I'm talking about these two, I will post a photo of what I'm talking about. So I'm saying that this far in, but you've been seeing pictures pop up as I've been talking about it. This, huh, this is so cool. I ordered a fat quarter of this because I love this fabric so much. Um, this is from Oh, April, May, my very early um, in getting Sewers Club boxes. I want to say April, April or May. Um, and it's a little um, toiletry bag, a little um, angled zipper toiletry bag that I like. I use it all the time. I um, take it on trips and stuff. It's a little small, so it has to be for like small travel things, but um, it's really cool. I really love this peony fabric, and I'm really happy that I have a little bit more of it. So I'll, it'll live with my fat quarters, and I already have a plan for that. That's so cool. And, the, ooh, I was missing one. Oh, that's awesome, too. Then we have these little beehives. This is from last September, September 22's project. Um box. Uh, that was an another project that I'm not a huge fan of. I don't have it near me to show you, but it's like a little, um, 
like a little catch-all little container. It had like a um, hidden zipper, little pockets. Um, they have it styled like in your car and I really liked the idea of it. But um, they had you using that Bozal in our foam and I hate that foam. So I didn't really like that project, but I'm kind of happy to have more fabric. I didn't get this version of that project box and I really liked it. So I'm really happy to have this fabric. Maybe if I revisit that project, I will use this. I'm not sure. And then this little, I called it card catalog when it's not, it's, um, it's, it's stuff from like libraries though, right? When you would, from the, from the front of the library book, right? And then the back of the library book where you filled in your name and like the return date and stuff like that. I love this fabric and I'm so happy I have more of it because I didn't have a lot of scrap of it when it came um, and I was kind of sad about that but now I have a whole bunch more scrap and that is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's look at these again. So a lot of this is repeats that I already of fabric that I already have. It's um, repeats of every project that I've done. Right, like I recognize it from all of the different projects. So um, we have some of this. We have like a little tiny bit of this. Where's the... Ooh, let's do it that way. Oldest to newest. Nobody cares but me. But we go like that. And then it goes September, October. This is the newest one. All right, this is February of this month or this year. And then I want to say last February. October of 2021. A lot of this seems to be 2021 fabric. And then all of this is all from the same um, project box. One scrap of that. Two of these. Two of these I got the most from that basket box and that's kind of like really cool because I love that basket box I even remade it last year and I use it all the time yeah the remake uh, the the basket that I made before holds the uh, converter inverter thing for my sewing machine because my sewing machine is from Europe. I needed to get like a power converter thing for it so that I could operate it here. That's what this basket holds. And then the big basket that I made last year um, holds, is currently holding my, uh, year, uh, my temperature quilt project. And then this one. So there you go. That is the mystery scrap box. I'm very excited and I'm very happy to have this fabric. Um, the fabric that I didn't already own are these two little guys here, this purple one here, this beehive, and this dog print. The rest of them I have owned um, and have left and repurchased. Like I've repurchased this fabric and I've repurchased this fabric as well and I was thinking about picking up this so that's kind of cool that I have it so there you go there's the mystery bundle what do you think do you like them do you not do you have ideas for what you'd like to see done with any of these um, let me know in the comment section below um, and now I am going to discuss the fabric that I bought 
So part two, um, fabric that I chose to buy. Um, as I open this up, I will put the official name and price I paid for you on the screen so that you know um, how much I spent. Um, the mystery bundle was like around $11 and then I think I ended up spending $40 in total with shipping. Um, and then I bought this pack specifically for a different project that you will see at the end of another month. So let's take a look. Oh, I forgot I bought two different things. Huh. It is a bit of a surprise. All right, so let's talk this stuff first. Um, I'll also put up the the amount of each that I bought because for the life of me, I cannot remember. Everything was between like half a meter, a meter, and then this other stuff was I think two meters. Okay, so first off we have this beautiful red floral. They called it Moonflower, designed by Maria Kalinowski for Canvas Studio in association with Benartix LLC pattern. Like how beautiful is that? It's this beautiful bright red print. I just, oh, I've been eyeing it for a while. So I have a project coming up at the end of Actually, next month's project that I'm making, I'm planning on using this for next month's project revisit. So if you have an idea of what next month's project is, you'll have an idea of what a, this is going to be used for. So that's the um, uh, accent fabric to this. I'm like, is this not beautiful? It's like a graphic cherry print fabric. Oh, it's so beautiful. Same family group, but this is called Plum Flower, which is Sakura. Or wait, no, Cherry Blossom. I don't know. And Plum Flower, but like, look at those together. Is that not just beautiful? So I got these specifically for next month's project. Um, and then for a couple of fun little things to go with it, too. Um, then I bought this guy here, which I got at a, um, a fat quarter bundle in November, December, and I made a toiletry bag out of it. Um, but I wanted to make a couple of more things with it too. And so I picked this up too. It has like a gold shimmer to it. Like it's a metallic finish. So it's these giant, beautiful roses called Gilded Rose. And then I got the matching leaf fabric as well, right? So this will be its accent fabric. I just, I don't know what it is, but I think this fabric, these fabrics, they're not my personal taste, but I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And um, at sewing, I'm just deciding that it doesn't always have to be my personal taste. If I like the way they look together, why not go for it? So these were the things that I picked up um, to go with the mystery box when I bought the mystery box. Then this stack is for a different project. I bought more of the Black Cat Capers panels. I bought four more of them for a project that will be discussed September, October area. Um, which is why I'm happy I have a little bit more of that pumpkin fabric too that we just opened up. That was a lovely surprise. So we got those. You've seen these in a few of my videos. I really, really like it. I feel like my cats might be fighting each other. I also have a foster cat named um, Secret, and um, he's out and about, so they might be 
playing, play fighting? I'm not certain. Um, and then we're on to the next grouping, and I bought a lot of this. For a project I'll be talking about um, soon. And it's these large panels. And they come in um, this bus, this uh, the, the little Vespa. This little beach trailer, little bubble trailer, and these beach houses. So I bought six panels. So I have eight panels. How many did I buy? One, two. Yeah, I bought eight panels um, to make four somethings. And we'll discuss those when we get to that month's project. And then we have some coordinating fabric for them too. We have this, we bought two meters in this lovely um, beach sign fabric. Right, like how cool is this? This is so fun. And then we got surfboards, two meters of these surfboards as well. And like, oh, like look at the, the color pop. That's just amazing. I'm, I'm so excited for these. I think they look so cool. Um, I blame Sewers Club for this purchase too. They kind of were like, check out what we just got in. And then like I immediately went and bought it. Sewers Club Instagram, it could be brutal. They're also, um, they're also advertising. I'll ask you this all, even though this video is going up a little late and I've probably already done it. But they're advertising a quilt of the month style quilt next year where you do like a block a month um that's like a quilt along and I'm really tempted to to join that the price isn't too terrible um so it would kind of factor in as a subscription box and then I might abandon a different subscription box or something that I was planning on doing um let me know in the comments if you'd like to see like a, a quilt of a month quilt the block of the month quilt along kind of thing that Silver's Club is doing. Um, they have like a neutrals one and a colorful one and I'm really tempted to go with the neutrals one but um, let me know in the comments what you think um, and if I haven't already pulled the trigger on it then I will um, be interested to hear what you have to say. So yeah that's it. That's the end of this video. Do you like videos like this like my little mystery box at the beginning and then um my fabric bundle not bundle what is it haul is this something that you enjoy or is it just something that I enjoy let me know in the comment section below do you have thoughts on what some of these things can be turned into or what some of these things might be turned into. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say. Um, yeah, so if all goes well, I think next week should be my Sewers Club unboxing video for you for May, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm, I actually got this box on April 10th, um, so I'm quite a bit ahead of when I normally post videos but I was so excited to see these and I'm excited to get started on next month's projects so I don't end up getting behind so um yeah let me know what you think of everything down in the comments section below is there uh any of the fabrics that you really love and is there any projects you'd really like to see me try to make with them like I said this one here has a dedicated project plan and these do too but there's going to be leftovers of at least these two fabrics so let me know what you'd like to see, and I'd like to try to make them for you. Um, and I think I'm going to go, because I have to go investigate what the noise was. So, yeah, with all of that being said, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching this 
lovely little bonus video that's quite long. Um, and I will talk with you again soon. Bye!